Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Hundreds of John Mazisky fans and friends from across the country gathered at a church in the Lincoln County countryside to pay their final respects to the singer known as Nightbird. Mazisky, 31, died February the 19th after a four-year battle with cancer. While her life took her to various places across the US, including Nashville and later California, where she made her famous Golden Buzzer America's Got Talent audition, her ties to Central Ohio are what led Mazisky's family to choose Cornerstone Church in Heath as the place to celebrate her life. We wanted to do it in the church where she spent a lot of time when she was here, said her eldest brother Mitch, who helped to organize the event. It was also live streamed with thousands of viewers following along. Friends and strangers began gathering outside the church entrance 20 minutes before the doors opened for the 6.30 p.m. service. Inside the lobby was decorated with photos of Mazisky smiling, what her father Mitchell would refer to in his message as her million dollar smile. Programs featuring a black and white photos of Jane were printed with an original poem she'd written, A Hero in Flames. Family members and friends from various periods in Jane's life shared entertaining stories to illustrate Mazisky's fun-loving, spontaneous and mischievous personality. The time they turned her minivan into a cash cab and tried to pick up random strangers, or the time they plastered pancakes all over the pastor's yard or went skinny dipping at church camp. Her best friend of 14 years, Abby Hernandez, called Jane magnetic, vibrant, selfless and the most profound friend of my life. Mitch described his sister as his best friend who always knew what to say and was an example of generosity and kindness. Jane was consistently giving and she was consistently looking for ways to bless other people, he said. Now, one of the things that stood out the most about how people spoke or remembered Jane Mazisky, they were all quick to point out that her faith was a beacon that kept her hopeful even when her diagnosis was grim. Jesus is why she believed a painfully tragic life could still be worth living, that life could be beautiful even when the world came crashing down. Her friends said this. Jane is survived by her parents Mitchell and Sharon Mazuski of Zanesville, three siblings and numerous other family members and friends. We would like to take this opportunity to send our condolences to all her fans, family and friends and may her soul continue to rest in peace. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.